Hello, Dan Smith here. I directed this film back in, uh, well, it feels like a century ago. Yeah. The studio asked me to provide a commentary track for the DVD release. And wham, straight into the action. No fluff or anything. That's what we did back then. Crash landed ship. Out pops our hero, the fearless Dick Starspeed. The ship's velocity reactor is damaged. I believe that I am stranded on an alien planet. Played, of course, by actor Jonathan Digby. Went on to some minor roles after this. Uh, such a shame. I thought from day one, this guy's got leading man written all over his face. Greetings, citizens of Gravoria. I am Dick Starspeed, and I come in peace. Probably shouldn't have had Dick draw his weapon when he was talking about peace. Well, maybe one day we'll go back and see Kid into a sandwich or something instead. Ha! Just kidding. This is what people pay to see. A no-name middle-aged B-list actor duking it out with stunt men in costumes. Such stunning choreography. Now the extras in those robot suits really knew how to take a punch. Oh, literally. I told Jonathan not to hold back. Give it all to him. Kick him in the nuts and bolts. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. We handled it responsibly. Holy smokes. We made smokes. them all sign waivers not to sue for injuries. If I land squarely on that grain silo, I should survive this fall unscathed. Well, I shouldn't say this now, but you could actually see the strings if you squinted hard enough. A screenwriting trick from back in the old days. You put a grain silo or some haystacks down and it solves all your gravity-related problems. <laughs> <laughs> 